morning y'all. Tech 1709 here. It is the morning of Sunday, September 11th, 2011. And before I get started, I'd, uh, I'd like to say never forget, never forget the sacrifice of uh, the brave men and women, all the soldiers, the firefighters, and the police officers who've given their lives to uh, protect this country. Especially on this day, you know, the day of sacrifice, when so many Americans gave their lives. So, uh, this is my very first video vlog on this channel, and my very first video vlog ever uh, on a motorcycle. So, since this is my very first video vlog, I'd like to uh, go ahead and introduce myself a little bit. My name is John. I'm originally from San Antonio, Texas, and I currently live in uh, Tucson, Arizona. I am currently riding a 2007 Ninja 250. That's pretty much all there is to know about me. So now that I got introductions out of the way, and since it is September 11th, I wanted to uh, I wanted to discuss a topic that, uh, especially on a day like today, is kind of important to consider. And that's patriotism. Now, everybody's got their own view of patriotism. And I'd kind of like to know what y'all, what y'all think patriotism means. Now to me, patriotism means the never-ending struggle for liberty, for freedoms. Unfortunately, you know, in today's society, I see a lot of, uh, a lot of nationalism, a lot of, you know, waving the flag around, saying how much you love America, and all that. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of nationalism, a little bit of national identity. But I don't think that's what patriotism is. Holy hell, all the fucking bugs. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't believe that's what patriotism is. And I, I think the government has gone to great lengths to, uh, to make waving the flag, you know, beating your chest, going to war and all that, making that, making that seem patriotic. And I won't lie, you know, I fell for that. I joined the military. I fought in Iraq. But when we talk patriotism, we should be we should be concerning ourselves with uh, with getting back the liberties we've lost over the last what 20, 30 years. And I think people are finally starting to wake up to uh, to everything going on in this country. But you know that's enough about that. I, I would like to know. Uh, what y'all think of that? You know, what y'all's opinion on uh, patriotism, patriotism is. So yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the actual video, but there's a there's a shit ton of, uh, of bugs flying around, more than normal. That's because we got a huge rain last night. Uh, in fact, I don't know if you can see it too clearly, but we're pretty high in the foothills and you can see the entire city of Tucson and for once it's clear. It's not all hazy and whatnot. But uh, last night I went down to the washes. We have a couple of big washes throughout the city and it was almost halfway up. Which is amazing because I've never seen that much water uh, in the washes before. But yeah, that much rain is, is definitely strange for uh, for this time of year. I mean, we, we normally get the monsoons around, uh, you know, late summer, early fall. But we've been getting the monsoons since, uh, I want to say, early, 
early July, late June maybe. And it's been it's been nonstop. Now granted I, I was I was out of the state for, you know, a month there, so I, I don't know how much rain we got during that time, but we've been getting a lot of rain lately. And it's good because we've been under, you know, fire restrictions all summer long. Now all we need is all this rain to go eastward out to Texas to where, you know, they're experiencing all the wildfires and whatnot. And it hasn't rained there all summer. They're in a horrible drought. They need the rain more than we do. Which is surprising because, you know, around San Antonio where I'm from, that's not desert, but everything's burning. Anyway. I'm heading down to the wash now, so I'll probably end up showing you guys a little bit of uh, of uh, the water that's running. See how uh, how much lower it is now than it was last night. It was it was pretty high last night. So uh, yeah, before I go, I'd like to uh, thank y'all for uh, for tuning in, and watching my vlog, and I hope you come back, and watch uh, some of my future vlogs. Thanks.